Right, before we begin, I just want to apologise for the, the poor cinematography. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I don't normally do this. I just felt compelled to make a video about this because I, I discovered something that I, I couldn't believe and I thought I'd try and help everyone out. A bit of backstory. <clears throat> I got my first D&D &D set back in would have been mid 80s. It was the the um, the red box one that was published in 1983, I believe. And that came with a set of dice. They were random colors. These aren't them. And the dice came unmarked. There was no paint or, or ink or anything in the, the new mods. So what they did was <clears throat> they gave you a wax crayon. These are Cray Z art brand. Um, and what you had to do was you'd, you'd get the crayon and you'd, you'd scribble all over the numbers to get wax into the the depressions where the, the new moles are. And then you'd sort of rub away the excess and that would leave just wax in the, in the numbers so you'd be able to see them better. So anyway, <clears throat> I don't have those dice anymore. But um, I got all nostalgic and I decided that I wanted to sort of recreate my original set. So I ordered some Chessex dice. These, these are just like your regular opaque Chessex dice. And Chessex made all the, the correct colours that I used to have. And they all had white numerals except for the orange set. Now I don't know if Chessex don't make orange with white numerals or if I just couldn't find any but whatever I, I just bought the, the ones with the black numerals so my d6 was the right color but with the wrong color numerals but I made them the right color um, now I already knew how to do this um, but I read about it online because I wasn't really sure how to strip the old paint out of it. So I was reading about how to, I think they call it de-inking. It's not really ink, it's paint. Um, and uh, so I was reading online about, you know, the best solvents to use and stuff like that. In my case, isopropyl alcohol worked okay. Um, but while I was reading about de-inking, I was also reading about re-inking. And I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. There were, there were people saying, oh, you've got to get a, these paint pens and you've got to go over the numerals. If you make a mistake, you've got to rub it off with your thumb, but then that takes some paint off, so you've got to go over it again. Or, or you can use regular paint in a like liquid form, but you've, you've got to get a really fine paintbrush and, you know, do like microsurgery on it. And I was just like, these people are doing it wrong. There is a much, much easier and better way of doing it. And at least when I used to do this kind of thing, it was it was common knowledge. Um, but obviously, I guess it's not common enough because it seems like enough people, like most people don't know about it nowadays. I'm sure some do, but this video is for people who perhaps have been struggling to recolor. I mean, you see all these beautiful... Uh, custom dice nowadays and you've got people like recolouring existing dice or, or adding colours to these custom made dice and it's just like people need to know how to do this because they're just doing it wrong so anyway this is my lovely original D, &D colour scheme that I had I feel very nostalgic when I look at that I played with those from when I was about 10 to when I was I would have been about 19 I really wish I had the original dice, but whatever. So anyway, I had my my Chessex dice with the the black numerals, and that was no good because it was the wrong colour. So I used isopropyl alcohol IPA, not India Pale Ale. <laughs> um, so I ended up with something like this, which is the bare plastic with no colouring medium in the new mods and you're going to kick yourself when you see this it's so easy to do you don't need a paintbrush 
you need a piece of kitchen towel I'm using gloves you don't have to. these are genuine smurf skin you don't have to I'm just using it because I don't want to get paint all under my fingernails and everything um, you don't even need to tape this down the only reason I've got this taped down is because I don't have a tripod to hold my phone so I, I've got to do this one-handed and it's easy enough that you can do it one-handed this is the paint I'm going to use you can use like you know miniature wargaming paint or whatever this is just from Walmart it's uh, Apple Barrel Multi Surface, and this stuff once it cures, which takes, it dries very quickly, but it takes a while to actually cure until it's you know like almost impervious. I think you can you can put this stuff on glass and put it through the dishwasher, <laughs> you know. So it's really it's probably too hard wearing to so maybe don't use this if you plan on recoloring your dice afterwards. But anyway, almost any acrylic paint will do. Put a blob on here i'm doing this through the screen on my phone so you have to excuse me if i'm yeah, there we go don't even need a paintbrush just use a q-tip get a bit of paint on it blob it on like that then you get the dye and put it on the kitchen towel and swipe it and look at that and you can just wipe the, the extra off the edges now the key to doing this is that the kitchen towel has to be on a flat surface. Um, I think a lot of people when they use those paint pens they pick up a piece of kitchen towel and try to wipe it. Because your, your thumb's got a bit of give in it and the kitchen towel isn't supported by a flat surface you end up smudging the, the paint and it, you know, it comes out of the doesn't go where you want it to and then it comes out of where you do want it and you end up having to touch it up again so the key is to have it on a flat surface like a hard table and if you think about it when you go like that nothing can get into those depressed areas can it the the, the kitchen towel can't wipe the paint out of those because it can't reach it because it's not flexible enough to get, get into it okay here we go put another blob on Turn it over, wipe it, maybe lift it up at the end. There we go. Oh, that one's not very good. Let's try that again. Wipe it. Perfect. And then you do the next side. I mean, look how quick this is. I'm not even doing this properly. I'm doing it one-handed while I'm trying to film it with my other hand. Now, you'll notice, see, you've got a bit there, like in between the two faces of the die if you sort of trying to do this wipe it like that and then tilt it up at the end you'll wipe that off too and the trick is <clears throat> you've got to try and use a new piece of the a new part of the paper towel each time look at the mess I've made on this but ideally when you're doing it you'd swipe one face there and then the next one you do lower down and so on if you're using white paint like this you might be better off using one of those blue shop towels so you can see where you've already got paint on it but anyway let's do another one blubber paint don't have to be exact about it at all and no joke i mean i know i'm not doing it very well here because of but a D6 will take you 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. D20 takes a bit longer, obviously, because there's just more faces. But even then, it takes maybe three or four minutes once you get a rhythm going. It's just so quick and easy. See, that's a surface I haven't even painted yet. It's just picked up some paint from one of the other ones and ended up inside the new ones. You could even just dip it in there. You don't even need a Q-tip. <laughs> there you go. So, once you're all done, you can go back over it. And, I mean, you might end up with a, a little bit of a smudge, especially if you, you know, look at the paint I've got all over my fingers. I'm handling it. But then, 
when the paint has had maybe a few minutes to dry you can just sort of rub it on a kitchen towel and the kitchen towel is ever so slightly abrasive and it'll just take that, that excess paint off and you know before you know it you've got this, this perfectly painted dye let's see if we if you look at this one here this is a d20 it took me about two or three minutes to do that's just fine you know, the color looks a bit washed out on this camera but i mean in real life it looks it's perfect so anyway i won't waffle on too much longer i hope that helps you out if, if you're doing a full set of these dice you've got 60 60 facets 60 faces no, sorry, it's not 60, it's 70. For a full set of seven dice, there's 70 faces. If you were doing that, I mean, this one's got three three numerals per face as well. <laughs> so you'd be there all day, wouldn't you, if you were trying to do it with like a paint marker? Forget that. Do it this way. Blob, swipe. Done. all you gotta do I know I've made like a bit of a pig's ear out of this because I'm trying to do it on camera but I mean you've seen the results this you know this is perfect my d6 is perfect um, imagine if you were doing a, a proper full modern 11 dice set I wonder how many faces that is you've got an extra 3d6 and another d20 You'd need to like book a week off work to do it if you're doing it with a paint marker. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm going to stop waffling. I hope this helps someone. Sorry about the poor cinematography. Like I say, I don't really do this much. I just thought maybe it'd help someone out. So, uh, okay, good luck. Have fun. Bye.